be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Be making bases back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up if you like the content. Today's video, I'm going to be actually doing a video based off of you all's suggestion. Um, so we have Dev Rags here who asked, hey, can you please do a video on your 808 process? I'm struggling on that part of my beats. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to do a video that is based off of the process that I use to lay down 808 patterns. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to start with a brand new track here and to make this simpler, because since we're focusing on 808s, I don't want to be messing around with the melody too much. I'm just going to actually use a, um, a sample from quick from from splice or whatever. So we're going to go to the quick sampler, click on the stereo and um, Let's go ahead and go to splice so we're going to go to splice and find a dope sample that we can use we can throw some 808s on real quick so let's just let, let's go ahead and audition some of these samples here actually matter of fact i'm just going to put trap let me see if we can find some actual trap packs actually let's go to packs here and then we'll set search trap via the packs bless trap and hip-hop Let's see what this has got going on. Keys. All right, so that's, that's a pretty dope one. We're just going to go with this. Um, go ahead and use this, this credit here, and we're going to drag it on over. All right, so it's actually um, at 120 BPM. We have our session at 130. Let me see if it's going to like match up if we do this. We're going to just come in over here like this, push this option, and follow tempo, and it should be able to match up. I'm going to turn on... Um, Musical typing by pushing Command K, and let's see what we can come up with here. All right, cool. We're gonna try. We're gonna, gonna lay that down. So we got the we got the sample down. Now let's go ahead and uh, quantize it. All right, bet. So now that we have the sample in place, all right. The next thing to do when it comes to the 808s is actually get you a dope 808 pattern. I mean, excuse me, 808 sample. So I actually already have one here that I really like. I'm gonna use a quick sampler. I already saved it in here. So I'm gonna pull it right on up. Um, we'll go with this one right here. And, and the first thing you wanna do is actually find the key. And I'm not talking about finding the key on a technical aspect of things, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you use the samples, sometimes it can get sloppy and get all over the place because you know, you're just pitching it up or down. When I say find a key, you basically want to match up the same tone note of the sample, that, that same over, overall sound of the sample. You want that, that you know, be in the same key, basically. So the sample sounds like this. You want that first note to sound like on that same note. And what you could do is you could pitch the um, 808 up and then you can push it back down just to find the note. So like, so you, so for instance, I can clearly hear that this, this sound, this is like on key with that sample. And I can kind of sound out like 
what I want to do first and then like play it or, or draw it in later. All right, cool. So now that we know these are the notes, then now I can pitch it back down. And I can come over here and play around with it. So obviously you want, you know, that first note, it should sound the same as that first note that's going to be playing in your sample. So you can lay that down. You feel me? And then you can go from there. So um, I'll come over here and quantize that. And usually with an 808 pattern, I'm just gonna drag this on out. And we can draw we can draw it in from here on out. Boom. You want to sound out like what the pattern is gonna be in your head and then like mimic that. So boom. So like you sound, I see how it sounded out that next note. That's what you want to do. And you can use this playhead as it's playing, as like as it's moving along here in the grid. As you're sounding it out, just pay attention to where that playhead is and you can see, okay, that's that note needs to go like right here or right here. You know what I'm saying? You can kind of get a general overall, you know, understanding of where it's gonna go and you can kind of move it over left or right. Boom. You know, and you can keep it simple. And then like what you could do after you keep it simple is start getting more technical with it. So technically I can come over here and um, I can just repeat this. So I can come over here, highlight it, command C, move this play here, make sure it's right here, command V to paste it. And then I can like move these notes around afterwards. Technically that can go, but like say if you want to get a little more fancy with it. So after you go simple, then you can go more complex. I can take this playhead and like, again, it's all about what's in your head. So like get what's in your head out. So you're gonna be listening in your head to like, okay, maybe I wanted to go, do, 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 you know, then you figure out, okay, this is where it, how it's gonna have, have to, you know, this is how I want to do it. So like I hear this last note hitting twice, boom, boom. So what I'll do is I'll just cut this mug in half, highlight it, command T. And just basically sounding this out, so like, This is, I'm sounding it out in my head and making sure it, it actually sounds right. So let, I was listening to it. And you play it over and over again until you kind of get it right. And then what you can also do too to make your patterns a little bit more detailed is you can like, instead of making a four bar loop, you can make an eight bar loop. So I can take this and just drag this on over like that by holding down option. And then I can extend this. And um, I can come over here 
and like just affect the second part right and do the second part way different than i did the first part so i already know how the first part sounds of this eight eight bar loop now um or 16 however you want to look at it um then i would just come over here and do do some different variations so And then you see how I'm just, I have to like adjust the note lengths. So like for instance, if I left that note like this, it would sound um, sloppy. So what I do instead is I'm just gonna adjust the note. I'm gonna adjust the note lengths as I go as well. So I, and and see, like when I'm doing this, like I'm actually hearing it in my head, and I'm and like I've practiced enough where I can hear it in my head, and I don't actually have to necessarily sound it out and you know and, and say it like. But I'm telling you, like what you could do, like if you haven't practiced enough to do it, you could you just sound out what like what you want, and then do it. So like you can go. You could like say you could have sounded it out. You say boom, 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 and then you can come over here and like focus in on one part and keep on moving the notes around and chopping them up until it sounds exactly like what's in your head. That's all it's about, man. It's just figuring out what's in your head and putting it out here. You know, I'm, it's not about freestyling it all all the time. You know, you, you're hearing something in your head about it and then putting it over here. You just got to make sure that, that number one is in key. All right. And then number two, that, you know, the notes are not blending in um, or running into each other with an 808. So, like, for instance, once you get that part of it done, now you can work on this ending part. even on this like I might make turn that into two notes just to make it you know sound a little bit more fancier Then when you put it all together, so you have it, it just gives a whole vibe. So let's listen to it from the beginning. And so, you know, after you're doing all that, you know, pretty much now you have an interesting sounding drum um, 808 pattern that you can use in this beat. It sounds pretty lit. And like, again, you know, if you wanted to, you can come over here and fix this part, too. You can say, man, I actually kind of feel like this could be um, a little bit different as well. So you can come over here and fix that up. So like, for instance, I can come over here and say, all right, this, I like how I did these two notes right here. So I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat that process over here in the beginning, but I'm not going to do this stutter step right here. Now that the pattern pretty much is ready to go. So like another thing too is to keep in mind is the velocity. 
settings as well. So uh, if you click this note, this guy right here, and usually you click this guy right here. If you don't see velocity, you can you can find it by clicking like this and finding it in here. But um, what you could do is some of these notes can be like different velocity like settings. I mean, when I say velocity, is it's really dealing with how hard or how hard you press the note. Um, it's, it's a little bit different than volume, but it's, it's kind of like how hard you press the note. That's what velocity, that's what you're changing with velocity. So you can turn to come over here and turn this all the way up. And if you want your 808 to hit hard, you can turn it all the way up. I think it's all about finding that sweet spot. I kind of liked it when it was a little, when it wasn't super hard hitting, to be honest with you. So I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Now, another thing like you could do here is see on these little like smaller notes you can come over here and draw the velocity in like this to where basically those notes are not all the same velocity you can kind of make it where it's ascending or descending i usually like to keep it ascending Let me just draw it up like this move this james up or down you know now let's listen to it and you kind of get to see how it sounds a little bit different. So it sounds a little, it sounds a little smoother. You feel me? So like doing different things of that nature is really going to help you when it comes to creating your 808 patterns or whatever. Look, look y'all, this is the video. I appreciate y'all listening and, and, and watching my videos. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like the content. I'm, I'm going to continue to view videos like this based off of you all's, um, you know, questions or whatever. And, and just as a heads up, this is probably going to be something I'm going to add as a membership. So like a membership right here on YouTube. So like say if you have specific questions and you're like, man, I really want you to do a video on this. I'm going to probably have like a membership. I'll probably do a, I'm going to do a video on it later. So, you know, you get the details on it, but have like a membership where, you know, everybody who's joining on the membership, maybe they're paying five, ten dollars a month or whatever. And, you know, anytime you have like a basic question and it sounds like a good video idea, then I'll do the video. I'll shout you out or whatever. Just like how I did um, on this video and, you know, do it like that. That way, you know, you know what I'm saying? I can serve the community and just serve people, certain people who really see the value of this. You know what I'm saying? So look out for the membership. I'm going to be doing that soon. And I really appreciate y'all watching my channel, man. Appreciate it. Let's get it.